All right, number 15, we want to decide uh, which element should be put in region 4, uh, given the information. Okay, so region 4, I'm going to go ahead and draw the Venn diagram out uh, to do it. Helps to write it down. Um, we have set A, set B, overlapping circles. So they have some things in common. And so I'm going to look at B, and B has G-K-O-R-T-U. And I'm going to put the elements that are in A and B in the middle. So I'm looking at the very back, and I can see they both have a T and a U. Um, B has a G, and A also has a G. So I'm going to put the G here in the middle as well. And then uh, the second element in B is a K, and I do not see a K, so that's going to be in B over here. Um, the third element in B is an O, and we do not have an O in A. And then the fourth element is R, and we do not have an R. So the elements that are in B but do not are not shared with A are O, K, R. And that is the region 4, the part that is B alone. This is 3 by the diagram. This is 2 and 1. So the only elements are O, K, and R. In no specific order uh, does it matter. O, K, R. Um, this one, I can't see everything, I don't believe. It just says uh, use the Venn diagram to shade the given set. So this is A complement union B complement. Okay, so let me show you guys some of these. <clears throat> it will be easier uh, to do these when you have De Morgan's laws. So I'm going to show you. Uh, do I have? I'll just do it with different lines. <clears throat> okay, so. A complement union B complement. So A union B complement is going to take A complement and add it to B complement, and we're going to take the whole shaded area. Okay. So here's A. I'm going to draw them as overlapping circles. Here's A. Here's the circle B. When I do A complement, I'm going to do vertical bars. I'm going to do everything except for A. Everything except for circle A is going to get shaded or have vertical bars. So notice part of B is shaded, but not all of B is shaded. So this is A complement, everything except for circle A. And then we're going to union that to B complement. All right, so B complement is everything but B. I'm going to do that with um, horizontal bars. So I'm not going to shade B with these horizontal bars. So I'm doing everything except B. Okay, so everything that is shaded you take with union. So part of it only has horizontal lines, part only has vertical lines, some has both horizontal and vertical, but union says we want everything that's shaded. So we're going to take everything except for the middle. Now, uh, De Morgan's laws do a um, like a distributive property, and it follows like this. It's like dividing out a negative one, and so it look like a, uh, and then this sign gets flipped, intersect, and then this sign. B and then that complement will be on the outside so you pretty much just take negative from all the terms and put it on the outside and this will be a cleaner picture for you to see the shading uh, we have A we have B and then A intersect B 
is this middle part but we want the opposite of that so the opposite of this middle that would give us everything except this middle piece so the same part ends up being shaded but it's cleaner picture here so enlarge we're going to click the shading tool shade shade this part and shade this part save and we're done 